Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Now, on my background right there, this is gonna be a visual presentation of a bar chart. This is actually real time. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to do this and so much more on this video because we're gonna tackle how to create data visualizations, Flourish Studio Tutorial. So, right here, I am currently inside the website called Flourish. To get here, you can just simply type in your URL flourish.studio or basically app.flourish.studio. You're gonna arrive on this platform where you can just use your Domi Google account to get started. I'm currently using the free trial for this one anyway. As best practice, let me just go to the prices. So welcome back to the video. These are gonna be the prices. We have the free, we have the publisher and enterprise. So for this flourish, they don't have really the prices displayed. However, if you want to go for the publisher and enterprise, you can simply get in touch with them and you can talk privately. And anyway, for this video, we're just going to focus on free trial and let's go back on the dashboard. Now, once we're here, you can just simply click on new visualization or new story. So what's the difference? A story is an animated presentation of one or more visualizations. And a visualization is a template with your data and settings. Let's focus first on new visualizations for this one. And you're going to have so much chart to choose from. Starting from bar, you have projection map, you have scatter 2D map, chart race, etc. and so on and so forth. For this one, I would like to go for bar chart race, which is going to be this one's right here. You can either use horizontal, vertical, with line chart right there. Actually, there is so much to go from here. I'm just going to simply go for bar chart race for this one. And this is going to be the preview with the default data. You can see right there, it's really awesome. This is going to be real time based on the year it's currently being generated. Now you may ask me, how can I input those data? Those are so much data. So there's an option right here wherein you can preview our data stats right there. Also guys, you're going to notice for this one, you can go full screen. This is going to be previewing it on a desktop. If I click on this one, this is a tablet view. This is the mobile view and you can customize the size depending on your own liking. All right. Moving over for that one, going back to data, this are going to be how it looks like. There are going to be captions for this. However, I'm just going to focus on data just for now. You can also upload your very own data here, upload the data and merge or connect to a live URL. However, for the URL option, this is going to be for the paid subscription. So let's create our own very own data set. Let's go to JetGPT right now. Great, so this is going to be ChatGPT, and by the way guys, I have a comprehensive video about it and how it really works, so please check it out. So I just typed in here, create a dataset showing the top 5 countries are scientifically output from 2010 to 2024, and you'll notice for this that the table should be organized in columns. The first column is a country name, then the region, then the year by year from 2000 to 2024. Also, I asked ChatGPT, to generate it in a CSV file. And this is where we can download it. I'm gonna go back on Flourish right now. Now, once we're back here, I'm just gonna simply click on upload data for that one. Upload the data set created for free with ChatGPT. Simply import it, select continue. So it's successfully imported with no problem at all. Now, before I get back in the preview, you'll notice right there that you can change the label. Starting from the number A, or sorry, letter A, the values, categories, and image. So let's just go back for this one later on and let's check on the preview. So this is what you have on the right side. You can choose what theme you're looking for. If you're looking for midnight, you're looking for apex or basically no theme. I think midnight is awesome. There is a customized option, which is going to be for the paid subscription. Moreover, you can simply download this option right there. Also, the colors right there, if you want to change your colors, for example, you want to be a little bit more bright. I'm going to go for flourish for that one, or you want a little bit more blue or red for that one, right? Now, there's going to be by bar option if you want to change it by color. For example, for that one, it's just going to only go for bar. Single, for example, right there, you want to change single color for bar, you can do so as you see fit. They won't be a problem at all. Going back for this one, you can change the labels, the counter or totalizer. Basically, you can increase the size for that one or decrease 
change the color by your own liking. Again guys, this will depend on your own perspective. You can also remove the total for that one or simply show it. So everything here is gonna be your very own perspective. We also have legends here. You can adjust the legends by using fit. Also, you have the temp captions, you have the controls, you have the annotations, and so much more. So please check them all out. But for now, the most uh, famous checked settings here is going to be the counter and totalizer and how to change the colors. Now what's next? Let's add the flags on the countries. Let me just zoom this out just a little bit because I think it's really um, big now. Let me just zoom it out right that one right there. I'm over for this one. I think this is good enough. I think I'm gonna go back for this. Anyway, that being said, let's go back on data. So for our data, we have United States, China, Germany, Japan, and UK or United Kingdom. Before we add the image, I want to add a column. So insert a column for this one that will be insert column right. And then you're gonna see right there that under image, we need to add R here. So it knows that it will uh, extract some data on the column R. Focusing on the image, so we have United States, right? So you might be asking me, are we going to upload some individual images for this one? The answer is no. What you're going to need is going to be here. These are going to be the codes that is provided via Flourish. So these are short codes under Flourish from Afghanistan all the way down. I think the last country for this one would be Zimbabwe. And then for the United States, I'm just going to control F for this one. I'm going to go for US, I think it should be around here somewhere. So that will be United States of America. I'm just going to copy this. That will be column US colon. Go back on flourish and then simply paste it right there. You'll notice for this one, we already have the flag of the US on the preview on the lower side. So let's all complete them. We're still missing um, China. So for China, for this one, I'm just going to type here, copy the code, go back on China. Next one, we have here Germany. So I'm just going to finish everything and I'll get back to you once I'm done. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be all of the codes right there, starting from US up to UK. So under preview right here, you're going to have those flags. How awesome is that, right? That is really, really good. Now under the tools right there, I'm going to look for header. Because I want to add something. So for the title, this is going to be tutorial. Um, let's just go for chart, click on enter, and basically for this, you're going to have that chart right there. This is going to be also changeable depending on your theme. So take note about that one. I'm going to go back on midnight. So for this, you can really add some bold letter for that one, add some flourish embeddedment, URL, or basically choose what you see fit. So if you click on enter for this one, you're going to be good to go. Anyway, moving over, under Heather, you can add some subtitles, for example, Videos, Sample. I'm just going to go for this one, so I want to show you how it works. As you can see right there, they will be added real time. And then for Text, Border, that will be your very own choosing. Again guys, you have so much things to check from here. However, the most famous ones would be the Counter the header, the text, and those flags right there. Now, for example, we're satisfied with what they have here. You want to add this representation? Simply click on export and publish, or before we do that, you can download the image. For this one, you can just simply add your name. I'm going to add here tutorial box. I'm going to go for download for this one. And by clicking on the image itself, I have it right here. Also, that's using basically a screenshot of what you have on currently real time. Now, you can also have an option for HTML, but that's going to be for the paid subscription. You can publish and share and embed. That is going to be another uh, option for that one. And basically, you can add it to your Canva presentation. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be what's inside. I'm going to choose an existing design or a new design. I'm going to go for new design. Choose a, a size for this one. So once we're here, this is basically a size that's going to ask us to connect Flourish on our Canva. Simply for this one, log in with your Flourish account. So welcome back to the video. Right now, we have this visualizations, basically the one we created from earlier. You can add either one of them, and basically you can enlarge it real time. As you can see right here, it's currently being played. Now, how awesome is that, right? Now, since we're in Canva, of course, you can add so much more here. For example, you want to add some photos for that one? Place it right there. 
put it in the middle part right here. Easy as that. You can also animate this one depending on your own choosing. And the way that is gonna be for another video. Using Canva and Flourish all together, integrating them both. Now if you're satisfied for this one, you can simply download the presentation, click here and you'll be good to go. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.